Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review sponsored by The Game Crafter. In today's review, we're gonna be talking about the game Days of Discovery, Tales of Danger. And uh, if you're interested in seeing the setup, the components, or the playthrough, check out this playlist. It's the, th the third, second, and first video along here, and you can watch how it's played and whatnot. If you're already ready to pick it up, go ahead and hit the link down below in the description. Check it out on the Game Crafter and pick it up. So let's go ahead and talk about the review now, because I'm guessing most of you know how the game is played and all that, and probably wanna know what I think about it. Days of Discovery is a really cool modular style card game. And by that, if you've seen the videos before, you know that the cards have different aspects of them for the different parts of the voyages. Uh, on your player boards, it's going to show the first act, the second act, and the third act. And each of them are individual of each other. Different players will be able to go into different acts while other players are a little bit straggling behind. You're going to acquire people, you're going to be moving through, you're gonna sail for a voyage all together and try and score as many points as possible. In the first act, you can kind of go for any patron that you want and acquire them because it's very important to get the best one you possibly can. You're gonna have a set of cards that are gonna start with you that may put you at an advantage or disadvantage. And as you pull from the deck, if you're smart and you pull correctly and you do the draft well, you can get the best patron, which is going to help you along the way. Now, unfortunately, if you start off with something that's not so good and somebody else starts with something that can get them the king very quickly, which is the best patron to have, then they're going to progress farther. But still, in the second part of the voyage, if the king is out there pulling his hand, it's still not too difficult for you to win as any of the other people that have been patron, uh, any other people that patron you. Additionally, with the game, when you're in the second part of it, you have to wait for everybody to catch up to you from the first part. So everybody gets a patron. Everybody will get a full set of cards, full set of ha full hand. It's just you're if you do well faster, you're going to have a better setup to do the best at the end. But that still doesn't guarantee you a victory because you need to set up your hand to make sure that it is the best possible. Which still, this game has a little bit of luck. Cards are going to be flipped over, cards are going to be dropped down, you're going to only have a certain amount of selections. So the luck entailed in the game is, is not a lot, but enough to definitely give people uh, a chance to catch up. Specifically, if you're the king and you have a bunch of cards and you're ready to go into the third act and then somebody else comes out from behind and is slow and gets their cards, but luckily pulls the better draft, which still can happen, but it's not as likely, they can still have a chance to win, which is nice. The game at the end is always extremely close. There's a few times where you probably aren't gonna win, like there's certain situations where you're like, ah, oh, I'm probably just a little too far but I still wouldn't rule yourself out because you still have the luck, luck of the top of the deck at the end of the round, at the end of the third act. So you can still kind of pull from the top and hope and pray. So it's still a possibility even when somebody else has been trouncing you the entire game. The game comes with a solo mode and a multiplayer mode so you can play either way. I prefer playing this game with the multiplayer variant. It's a lot more fun to interact with people even though you're not specifically attacking them or doing anything like that. You're gonna be able to gain cards that are gonna help you in some way. And if you take them, it might not be benefit them as well. So it's kind of like this interactive player base is uh, messing you up or potentially even helping you as you're playing throughout the game. The way the point scoring works is very easy. How the cards function is very simple. And once you've played this game once, you're really set to play it again. I really, really enjoyed this game. As you saw in the playthrough, it was so close and we had a ton of fun. And it's always tense at the very end and at the very beginning you're feeling the prep building. The theme works with this game as well. You do feel like you're trying to acquire a patron. You feel like you're trying to put stuff on your ship to make sure it's the best possible ship to get through the voyage. And then you do feel like you're going through a voyage attempting to use your cargo as best as you possibly can and of course the people on your ship, the sailors, to manipulate the rough seas or illnesses or bad luck as well as just needing to have barrels and crew members available to you. At the end of the game, everything flips over and there's a tense moment where you're like, three, two, three, two, three, four, and then, oh, you won. And it's a really good feeling. So personally, I really like Days of Discovery. This is another excellent game from the Game Crafter. I highly suggest you take a look at it. Like I said, the only negative aspects in my opinion for the game is it might take a while for somebody to catch up from the first to the second act. And there's still a bit of luck involved when drawing cards from the deck, but even still, most games have that problem. So it's such a small minor critique. If you're interested, take a look down below in the description on the Game Crafter Days of Discovery, pick the game up. It's a lot of fun. You're gonna like it, even you solo mode players. Thanks for watching. And as always, I look forward to Seeing you guys next time while discovering the days and the tales of danger or, or something. <laughs> See you in the next video.